Good morning, boys. Today we will begin with the first lesson of English LWE, Language with Ease. And the title of the lesson is Countable and Uncountable Nouns. So we'll begin with the revision of parts of speech. Now since we have revised the parts of speech, here is a small poem on parts of speech. I hope you will enjoy. It says, Nouns are names of everything. Rita, Paris, cow or string. Adjectives describe the noun. Tall, hot, three, cotton and brown. In place of nouns, the pronouns stand. He for Ram, she for Maya, it for land. Verbs are actions such as string, such as sing, is reading, has come, took, will bring. Adverbs more of verbs to tell, slowly, quickly, fast or well. Conjunctions join words, together, this or that, rich but humble. Mother and father. Prepositions show time and position. At, from, to or near the station. With interjections you exclaim. Alas, oh, irks. Wow, what a game. So this was the poem on parts of speech. Now, as you all know, there are eight parts of speech. Let us revise once again. They are nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions and exclamation mark. Nouns are name of person, place, animal or thing. Pronouns are used instead of nouns. Adjectives describes nouns. Verbs are the action words which show some action being done. Adverbs describe the verbs. Prepositions show us the position. Conjunctions add Two sentences together and exclamations show us the feelings. Now boys, this is something new which you will be learning in 4th standard. It may be a revision of 3rd standard. This is known as sentence analysis. Now the first part of sentence analysis is to punctuate the sentence which is given. So let's see here. Hundreds of chirping birds woke up the boy who had been sleeping. Now this is the sentence which is given without any punctuation. So let's punctuate it. So because H is the first letter of the first word of the sentence, it has to be capital. So, we have made H capital in the color red and it reads as hundreds of chirping birds woke up the boy who had been sleeping full stop. Now further when we go deep into sentence analysis, we take the same sentence, hundreds of chirping birds woke up the boy who had been sleeping. Now we will take each word and see what part of the speech it is. Now before attempting the sentence, we will find out what is the meaning of analysis. Analysis means to break down, to see what it is. So remember your eight parts of speech and let's get set go. So the first word of the sentence is hundreds. 
Now hundreds is which part of speech? So to ascertain that, we have to read the sentence again. Hundreds of chirping birds. So hundreds of what kind of birds? Chirping birds. Now birds is a noun here. So hundreds and chirping both are adjective. Now what which part of speech is off? Off shows us it is a preposition. Now because it is showing what kind of hundreds of what how many hundreds of now chirping is an adjective birds is a common noun the next word woke up now woke up shows an action so you have to take both woke up it is a verb the is an article boy is again a noun who is a pronoun because it's, it tells us about the boy. Had been sleeping. Again, it is a verb. So in this way, we have analyzed each word of the sentence. Thank you. Have a good day.